a new spotlight on neighborhood waterways after a five year old boy is found dead in a pond over the weekend. It happened near his home off Beach and Hodges near Wolf Creek townhomes. This marks three retention pond deaths in just the past year. All your sides, Renata De Gregorio shows us the efforts to stop these tragedies from happening. Five year old Mohammed Noor was autistic and nonverbal, and because of this, authorities believe he may have especially been attracted to the water in a retention pond here at Wolf Creek Town Homes. That is even though he could not swim. Mohammed was found dead in a retention pond just two hours after being reported missing, and his death is the third retention pond death in our area in just over a year. These children are often attracted to bodies of water, which is very uh, very concerning for us. The search for five year old Mohammed Noor by dozens of neighbors and 80 police officers and firefighters ends in tragedy Sunday. Myron Pincombe, a professional educator who works with autistic people, says children who are autistic are especially attracted to water because autism is a sensory disorder. So if you think of water, it's attracted to all of our senses. Police say it seems Muhammad unlatched and went out his front door. The door was found unlatched when his parents called police. We encourage parents a lot to and you know, alert their neighbors, alert their all the caregivers around them. Um, what the challenges are going through because it's it's a full time job just to uh, to watch them. There are 235 city managed retention ponds in Jacksonville. According to the city's website, the city has a retention pond safety campaign where they're trying to get out information and resources about this. You can find that info on firstcoastnews.com. Something in it that you might not know is the city says that retention ponds can actually have strong currents. I'm Renata Gregorio in Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side.